was December 5th. God knows what time it was because I have no concept of time. When YouTube's official Twitter let us all know that YouTube Rewind 2019 was out. In 2018, we made something you didn't like. So in 2019, here's the link to the new Rewind. And per as usual, YouTube drops the ball again. The 2019 YouTube Rewind is essentially a Watch Mojo video. Really, that's all it is. It has to be the laziest take they had on Rewind ever. It's almost as if YouTube said, well, you didn't like the production value of last year's Rewind. So we're just going to do some lazy ass clips. And that was that. It almost felt like an insult, really. It was kind of like they made a video in complete disdain of the YouTube community. Here you go. Here's what you did like. Here's a really easy Adobe Premiere video, a top 10 countdown of all this trash of YouTube videos that most of us don't care about. The problem is YouTube is grossly out of touch. And I know saying that doesn't really mean much because we all know, but it becomes more painfully apparent and abhorrent as time passes by with rules and regulations that are applied completely and utterly erroneously and willy nilly, a copyright system that leaves you at the mercy of whatever two bit shyster that decides to put a claim on your video and YouTube just puts their hands up like, well, we've done all we can because they don't care. You see news articles like the golden age of YouTube is over and nothing could be ever more true. We all know it. YouTube doesn't know where its own line is. My YouTube channel is a perfect amalgamation of that. If you look at the complete and utter inconsistent judgments made on my channel, your jaw would drop. My yard, wait, wait, wait. I, all of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? YouTube Rewind 2019 is pretty much YouTube in a hole. A half-baked, half-hearted attempt at doing something for the content creators, but not really caring. The CEO routinely does interviews with popular YouTube channels. Some of them are even dead. Okay. Susan Wachiski. That's good. That's for the That's win? That's good, yeah, yeah. Fantastic, Wachiski. Great job, but, but I... Truly don't think that you'll see any more edgy, interesting channels coming up in a big way on YouTube anymore. You won't see it which makes absolutely no sense. It's almost as if the criteria to get an interview with Susan Wachowski is, do you have over 2 million subscribers? If so, I'll talk to you. And it doesn't matter if the channel is completely dead. And these people ask her sophomore questions. And oftentimes, if you really sit and watch her, she doesn't know what the hell's going on either. Nothing breeds confidence like watching the CEO haphazardly answer questions that aren't really answers to anything. She dances around the subject like DSP dances around asking for more contributions during his stream when the video stream is going slow. On top of that, the platform has gone out of its way to make a push to basically promote major networks. I mean, I don't like PewDiePie, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather see PewDiePie on trending than Jimmy Fallon. Literally, YouTube has been built by content creators and the people, and it has done absolutely everything in its power to undermine that the house that we built they are now trying to give to corporations and the cable companies if someone at youtube had any level of foresight or the ability to look at the long game they'd understand that these major networks are dying because their formula is old and tired this is the old medium the changing of the guard is here if you cultivate your content creators we will be the future Instead, YouTube would rather stifle us and cater to major television networks and talking heads. Yes, because that's what people are on YouTube for, to watch the stuff we got rid of cable for. I mean, who is making the decisions here? Not to mention that YouTube's community guidelines are broken and not even remotely fair. There is no fairness here. It's all about control. It's all about controlling the narrative. YouTube is now going out of its way to push content creators that they approve of or they plant. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. YouTube is a lot like Twitch in this regard. Major channels, 
get a pass for things that smaller channels do not get. Susan Wachowski even went on 60 Minutes, where literally the interviewer made her look like a fool by the end of the interview. That's a good move. Do this interview with them, have them basically ask you questions, and then in the final cut, make you look like an idiot. And also make YouTube look like it's a safe haven for hate speech and extremists. You literally went right into the den of wolves, and instead of doing you a solid, they decided to make the site look like it was a lawless nightmare to the few people they had left. You're not operating under some freedom of speech mandate. You get to pick. We do, but we think there's a lot of benefit from being able to hear from groups and underrepresented groups that otherwise we never would have heard from. Because YouTube is a threat. No one here is making wise decisions. No one here is paying attention to the trends. Instead, they'd rather push narratives and agendas. They would rather censor ideas than let them flow freely. Because honestly, the powers that be at YouTube and Silicon Valley genuinely think this is how the left is. Because basically liberalism is turning into a form of fascism. They genuinely believe that you are too stupid to surmise your own thoughts and opinions. And if you see, oh God, no, Stephen Crowler, from people with odious messages about gays. Mr. Let's be queer from Vox. Women. Sex robot. That you will somehow be inspired by this man and you'll become a white nationalist. I mean, look at this clip. Watch what Susan Wachowski says. But her definition of harm can seem narrow. So if you're saying don't hire somebody because of their race, that's discrimination. Um, and so that would be an example of something that would be a violation against our policies. But if you just said white people are superior by itself, that's okay. And nothing else, yes. But that later. is harmful you, you in that it gives white extremists a platform to indoctrinate. Honest. We want a flourishing, healthy white race. I can't even make heads or tails of this. It makes absolutely no sense the thought process. I have never seen such fragrant classism in my life. YouTube used to be an amazing platform. And don't you dare say to me, go to BitChute. I don't want to hear it. I'm already on BitChute. If you're sitting there saying, go to BitChute, it means you didn't bother to check. So be quiet. Just like with VidMe. I don't have a problem with BitChute, but it's not there yet. I remember when VidMe was around and people were like, go to VidMe. Look at VidMe now, it's dead. I do love YouTube. Well, I loved it. YouTube's like an ex-girlfriend. At one point, she was a great person. And now you're seeing her turn into this twisted human being that does everything contradictory of what she says. And you know all it takes is just leading in the right direction and she could be fine. But instead, she does everything in her power to destroy herself. That is what YouTube is doing now. I implore the people in power at YouTube to really rethink your stances, to really rethink what a fair platform is. There's a difference between hate speech and someone giving an opinion, all right? The simple fact that I know if I do another Lily Sings video where her show sucks and make fun of it, I will be demonetized. But another channel that has 3 million subs making the same talking points will be monetized, is monetized. That's not a fair playing field that's literally playing favorites. That's not how it should work. You are literally cutting your legs off and don't realize it. If you lose the content creators, you lose everything that made YouTube great. Look at your rewind for God's sakes. How often does YouTube have to do a rewind where people literally tell them you missed the mark and they don't get it? Remember when YouTube took away people's verifications for the simple fact of Oh, we want to make sure that there's no fakes. Really now? Really? So you took away verification from big channels? No. They don't know what they're doing anymore. Because it's now run by people who don't really understand the platform they're in charge of anymore. It will, YouTube is running like Kathleen Kennedy runs Star Wars. Completely and utterly disconnected from what made it great and popular. And as it burns around them, they will sit there and go... Damn straight white males, they did this. If YouTube continues on this path, it will die. Nothing is too big to fail. Nothing.
it might not happen in the next five to 10 years, but it will if they keep doing this. YouTube is slowly turning itself into a cable network. That's not what we're here for. We're here for people. We're here for genuine stuff. We're here for things that are unscripted. We're here for things that are completely and utterly off the wall because our whole lives on normal television, on terrestrial entertainment, we were forced to watch things that were safe, that were homogenized, that were planned and plotted, that were specifically made to tick certain boxes. Art is supposed to be challenging. Art is supposed to make you uncomfortable. It is supposed to make you look outside of yourself, outside of your comfort zones. Comedy is not supposed to be safe. No one got into comedy to march in lockstep with everyone's social norms and to be politically correct. I remember the first time I came out to my friends as a vegetarian. <laughs> You are stifling the creative entity. I dare say that memes and stupid YouTube videos may be today's modern art. Because Lord knows few people are taking brushes to canvas. And even now it is being censored. Because the site is a hot mess. It's only a hot mess for those they don't approve of, by the way. And you sit there and go, there's no money in YouTube. Listen, if you look at the FTC thing that's going on now, you need to understand that the reason why it's happening is because of YouTube. They are solely to blame for this. YouTube knowingly took information from children. It knowingly tracked them, so on and so forth, and used it in PowerPoints to take to advertisers like Mattel, Hasbro, etc., to sell them space on YouTube. They blatantly said, oh, content creators don't have to worry about COPA. YouTube made millions of dollars off of like four channels. There's money in YouTube. It's just for those they approve of. And if you go in here looking for justice, you're gonna find exactly that. It's just us. And you're not one of them. Point being, YouTube got caught with their pants down. Parent organizations got a hold of the slideshow, took the FTC, and all hell broke loose. And now YouTube passes the buck on the content creators. As always, YouTube throws us under the bus. But the second we're gone, guarantee you YouTube will die because the streaming service is not set in stone. All right, Disney will be fine. Netflix will be fine, but Disney will rule them all because they buy up everything. And they'll probably buy DC Comics next. Mark my words, if AT&T sells DC Comics, Disney will own it. And they will have a monopoly damn near on the streaming services. And Netflix will be the only one that could survive it. Every other streaming service is going to choke and die. Well, maybe not Hulu, but it could happen. YouTube is foolish to go on this road. It's losing its ace in the hole, and they don't even see it. By the way, I do have a Patreon. I do have a bit shoot. I'll make a subscribe star. I have other YouTube channels. Feel free to subscribe to them. The only reason why I'm still here and I haven't been completely destroyed is because my following base is strong enough behind me. If you want to help and support, feel free. Basically, share my stuff, essentially. Go to the other channels that aren't demonetized to all hell. The only way to fight corporations is with the people. If we are together, we're strong. If we are broken apart, obviously we're easily destroyed.